What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicolai Espresso, and today we're going to be talking about, or rather discussing, a little idea that I can't really claim is 100% and unique and my own, because, well, firstly, it's been done before. I've seen chatter about this before, and I've often seen it come up with questioning some of the mod tool showcases that we've done here previously. You guys have had this specific question in mind that you've asked many a times here, so I figured we kind of discuss it and tackle it together here with it. So, will mod tools ever come to consoles, that being Xbox One and PS4? So before we get too far into it, if at any point in time you have any thoughts on this, feel free to drop them down there in the comment section down below. You guys know I love hearing your opinions and thoughts on this kind of stuff, and this one is more so to gauge a little bit more of a discussion here with it. So if you guys have anything to say, drop it down there in the comments. And if you guys enjoy the video, why not drop a like as well? But firstly, right out of the way, will Call of Duty, more specifically focused for this video, Black Ops 3, ever get console mod tools? Well, in the simplest of forms, we can answer one possible way this question can be asked with some certainty. Mod tools and the ability to mod on console won't ever happen. Don't take this video like I'm saying, oh hey, we're gonna be able to mod on Xbox One and PS4 because, well, that's not what I'm saying and we're not gonna be able to do that. I'm more so stating the theory of the process, but why won't we ever be able to mod? Well, consoles aren't meant to do this and have specific fail-safes to prevent it. Now, I won't lie to you, I'm not a firmware or a hardware expert when it comes to consoles, but the way that I can imagine it and dumb it down for the sake of a simple explanation is that it's almost like a sandbox game where you have the ability to create absolutely anything. That being the games that are essentially sandbox games like Roller Coaster Tycoon, where you can essentially lay out your own game here with that. But the game is designed to be like that. So the assets being created are playable ones, a second tier above the actual base assets, if that makes any sense. And those base assets are actually the fabric of the game. Mod Tools isn't like a sandbox game. Mod Tools directly affects and edits the game files and its assets. Sure, there is a somewhat probably in-between tier between the actual base code and all the things above where you'd see in a sandbox game, but for the most part, Mod Tools is more so directly editing what you can actually play with at a base level. Editing those assets and game files is rejected by console firmware unless you have a dev kit. Yes, there are things like JTAGs and other modifications and such workarounds previously, but the current generation consoles are much harder to modify compared to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3s. Console users would not have direct access to the assets in game like how PC players can pull out individual strings of code in the fast files. For that reasoning, that the firmware and the consoles would reject the adaptations is why we won't actually get mod tools in a first party aspect. And it's probably for the better because you'd more than likely be banned if you were to go into your console and change the assets around. But as for the second part of the question and a different way that that question could go, is more often inferred and not explicitly stated by the wording itself, but that is, will mod tools content come to Black Ops 3? Now this, this is actually a valid question. I'm not sure if this is something that we'll be able to see within the life cycle of Black Ops 3's mod tools and the content that follows post-launch of Infinite Warfare for Black Ops 3, but for theoretical purposes, pointing to the future, it is technically something that can be done. Skyrim is going to be the prime example of this with a remaster on the way in October, and the same goes for Fallout 4. They both on Xbox One have allowed and will allow mods, and as a result, though not created on console, they'll have mods of sorts that will allow them to change up the gameplay in various ways. So the real question is, why with the rebirth of mod tools for Call of Duty, could we not see some sort of expansion crossover? Xbox, granted, is a little bit easier to work with as it's compatible with Windows, but is it not that much harder to allow creation from PC and then have some sort of community-driven content basis? In other words, the PC creators and potentially even Xbox users could create mods of all sorts of shapes and sizes, and then similar to how CSGO does it with skins in new cases, the community votes on the best and then we see content transferred over and added to all platforms for all players to enjoy. I think personally that would be absolutely amazing. Now, once again, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it is something that can truly prove to be advantageous to the game, and it will allow more life, more playability, and more creativity, and of course, in a business and marketing perspective, free promotion and hype for each passing content drop. That is something no creator and no publisher would argue is a bad thing. The fact that this is already happening as well on other games is definitely something that makes this a little bit more valid of an argument that it could be something that maybe in the future does come. But finally, we talked about innovation for so long and maybe the innovation isn't that of vertical movement and gameplay, but rather in how we approach content. 
It could be something that once again probably won't happen, but I think would be an absolutely smashing idea and a huge success if it carried out later into the life cycle of Black Ops 3's mod tools and further into the later years of the Call of Duty franchise. But with that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts down below. Love the idea, hate the idea because PC is master race, whatever it is, feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. But thank you dudes so much for watching. Once again, this is really just a little bit of a broad overall theory about the ideology behind mod tools and maybe if it could somewhat come to console, if that's a possibility in the future at some point. Right now, it's not currently slated to go over to consoles, but I thought this would be an interesting discussion to get you guys in on a part of it. So thank you dude so much for watching. If you guys like the video, be sure to like rating down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help and is of course greatly appreciated. But my name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.